obvious. Our first question is, find the ratio of the following. Smita works in office for 6 hours and Kajal works for 8 hours in her office. Find the ratio of their hours, their working hours. So, what is meant by ratio? So, ratio can be written as numerator by denominator. That is, numerator is to denominator. So, we will write the working hours working hours ratios so smita works smita by kajal you can take like smita is 6 hours kajal will 8 hours that is 6 is to 8 or you can write 2 3s are 6 then 2 4s are 8 3 is to 4 or you can write Take ratio will be causal to Smita also. Then it is 8 causal hours will be 8 by Smita is 6. That is 8 is to 6. So 2 4s are then 2 3s are 6. This is first one. Our second one is one part contains 8 liters of milk. 8 liters of milk while other contains 750 milliliters. So, 1 liter will be equal to 1000 milliliters, 1000 ml. So, one part to another part, that is, first part will be 8 liters by 750, second will be 750 ml, that is, 8 into 8000, sorry, 1000 into 750. So, what do you will be? So, we can do with 5, 5 runs of 5, then 5 twos are 5 fives are 25 0 then 5 twos are 10 double zeros then again 5 fours are 20 then 5 threes are 15 then 0 then 5 fours are then sorry 5 eights are then 5 sixes are 8 into 8 by 6 2 threes are 2 four. fours are then 32 by 3 that is 32 is to 3 we will get 32 is to 3 we will get then our next one is speed of a cycle is 15 kilometer 15 kilometer per hour speed of cycle is 15 kilometer per hour and speed of the scooter is this is cycle then scooter will be scooter will be 30 kilometer per hour 30 km per hour. So, cycle to scooter ratio will be speed of cycle by speed of scooter. So, speed of cycle will be 15, the speed of scooter will be 30. That is 15 ones are 15 twos are 1 by 2, then 1 is 2, 2. Like this, we need to solve. So, our second question is, the compound ratio of 5 is to 8 and 3 is to 7 is 45 is to x. Then find the value of x. Normally, compound ratio of, we should know formula before solving this. So, compound ratio of a is to b and c is to d. That is, a by b into c by d. That is, ac by bd. So, A and C will call it as antecedent. Then, B and D are called it as consequence. So, antecedents and consequence will call it that. The product of antecedents by product of consequence. The consequence are second terms, antecedents are first terms. So, this is the formula. So, let's take a is to b will be equal to 5 is to 8. Then c is to d will be equal to 4. 3 is to 7. Then ac by bd will be equal to 45 by x. Then now you can solve. So ac by bd. a is to b is what? 5 by 
8 into c is to d is what? This is a by d into c by d. So that is the case. So here that is a c by b d. So 5 by 8 into 3 by 7 will be equal to 45 by x. So what you can take? 15. So 56 will be equal to 45 by x. That will be multiplying oppositely. That is 15x will be equal to 45 into 56. Then x will be equal to 45 into 56 by 15. So 15 ones are 15. 3's are. Then what you will get? 3 into 56. Then x will be equal to 3 into 56 will be equal to 168. So 168. So that is the answer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So as I told in previous question that is second one. Here third question is if the compound ratio of 7 is to 5 and 8 is to x is 84 is to 60 find the x value. So as I told in second question the formula of compound ratio. So compound ratio of a is to b and c is to t is equal to a by b into c by d the product of antecedents by product of consequence. So you can write, let's take a is to b will be equal to 7 is to 5. Then c is to d will be equal to 8 is to x. Then ac by bd will be equal to 84 by 60. Then what is this? You can calculate like this. a by b into c by d will be equal to 7 by 5 into 8 by x. That will be equal to 84 by 60. So this is the compound ratio. So 56 by 5x will be equal to 84 by 60. Then this is cross multiplying. We will take this 5x to the right side. That is 5x into 84 will be equal to 56 into 60. Then 5x will be equal to 56 into 60. Keep like the only. Then you can convert easily. Then you can cancel easily. So what you can do with this? So 6 tens are then 6 ones are 6 then 2 will be 6 4 are 40 then 2 fives are 10 then 2 sevens are. So 7 ones are 7 eights are. Then what you will get? 5x will be equal to 8 into 5. That is x will be equal to 8 into 5 by 5, 5, 5 will go into cancel. Then x will be equal to 8. That is the answer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So here in this module we are going to discuss fourth question. That is compound ratio of 3 is to 4 and inverse of 4 is to 5. So let inverse of x is to y is equal to y is to x. So that is the inverse. For this inverse means 4 is to 5 means. So inverse of 4 is to 5 is 5 is to 4. Then what they are asking is compound ratio of 3 is to 4. That is let's take a is to b will be 3 is to 4. Then c is to t will be equal to compound ratio of inverse for 4 is to is 5 is to 4. That is a con antecedent and consequence ac by bd will be equal to what is that 45 by x here that given. So let's take here a by b into c by d will be equal to 3 by 4 into 5 by 4 that will be equal to 45 by x. So, 3 fives are 15, 4 fourths are 60 will be equal to 45 by x. So, cross multiply all this, 15x will be equal to 16 into 45. Then, x will be equal to 16 into 45 by 15. 3 is up. 15 ones are 15 threes are. That means 16 into 3. So, what you will get? 48. 
So x will be what? 48. Like this we need to solve the remaining questions. So in this module we are going to discuss with the question that is in a primary school there shall be 3 teachers to 60 students. If there are 400 students enrolled in the school, then how many teachers should be there in the school in the same ratio? So actually here for number of students for 3 teachers or number of number of teachers for 60 students or number of students for 3 teachers you can write like number of teachers number of teachers for 60 students will be equal to 3 teachers then number of teachers for 400 students will be let's take x you can write one method what is that method is so for each student how many number of teachers by unitary method actually number of teachers for one student will be equal to 3 by 60 then 400 students will be equal to 400 into 3 by 60. You can do like 3 ones are 3 twos are then 0 0. Here 0 0 is going to cancel 2 ones are 2 twos are 2 zeros. So number of teachers for 400 students are 20 teachers. You can do this method. Actually that is not our method. So here what we have to take clearly is we have to take ratios so let's take students to teachers that is s1 by t1 here let's take s and t that will be s2 by t2 so for first one what they are given number of students so students will be 60 and number of teachers will be 3 so S1 will be 60, T1 will be 3, then S2 will be 400, then what is T2? That is our question. So 60 by 3, so S1 by teachers, but S2 by, S2 is what? 400 by T2. So we have to convert 60 T2 will be equal to 400 into 3. Then T2 teachers 400 into 3 by 60. So like this we need to solve by using ratios. So here 3 1s are 3, 2s are 20s are. Then 0, 0 cancel, 2 1s are 2, 20s are. So 20. Like this also you can calculate number of ratios. So ratios are equal. So ratio is equal. In this case ratio is equal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.